guys and welcome back to another video. My name's Alex and this is... Spencer. And today we're doing something a little bit different. The guys at Samsung asked us if we want to go down to their school of rugby and try out some rugby challenges. Mm. Now we love a good challenge, don't we? We do. So we were like, yes please. Yes please. So this is what happened. We went to try out some rugby, not on our own, with a rugby legend. Enjoy. Right guys, here we are at the Samsung School of Rugby and we're joined by the legendary World Cup winner, that is Maggie Alfonsi. Maggie, thank Hi. you for joining us. Hi, good to see you. Nice to see you. you. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us today. Yeah, so we're going to be covering a range of different skills in rugby. Uh, the first thing we'll look at will be speed okay. and hopefully this will improve your ability when it comes to being part of rugby. So there's lots of different elements which will all contribute to being a better rugby player. Wicked, we're going to get better at rugby out. This is good news for me because I've never played rugby before. Never played rugby before? Never. Okay, right. I think at the end of this, you will hopefully get into the sport because it is a good sport. It sounds brilliant. Right, let's go and do the first challenge, speed. Right, the first thing we're going to do is a speed test and we're going to use a parachute on our back to slow us down so it's going to make it harder. So we're each going to take a turn to do a speed test and Maggie, what's a good time to do it in? I would say if you can do it in under five seconds, which is what Jason Robinson can do, then I think you'll be doing pretty well. Under five seconds, all right. All right, that sounds really quick. So let's give it a go. How was that? That felt really good. Was it hard running with that a parachute? Um, it's, not as, it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Let's go get my time. Okay, right. my effort, your time. Five seconds and 54. Ooh. Not too so, bad. Yeah, Decent. That's not bad at all. Right, let's see if Spencer can beat that. <sighs> Good luck. You went for it, didn't you? Try my best. That's what I can do. What time do you think you did in? No idea. Let's go find out. Okay. What's the damage? You did 497. Oh. Just under five. Just under. Just under. Good effort. Very good effort. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to need to do it again now. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, on to the next challenge. It's a kicking one. We're going to be kicking out the tee, trying to get it through the post, like a rugby goal slash conversion, whatever you want to call it. Alex, you feeling confident? I'm feeling super confident. I really hope I get it through. Let's find out. Right then, Maggie, it's on to the kicking challenge. Now, I've never kicked a rugby ball before, okay. so if you can quickly explain to me how I kick it and how on earth I'm supposed to get it over okay. the post. So what's really simple when it comes to kicking a rugby ball is that all you really want to try and think about doing is making sure that you really make contact with the ball with your laces. So you don't okay. want to use your toe, your big toe, because that's only going to hurt you. You also want to make sure that you position yourself, that you're just over the, not over the ball, but you're to a point where you're, you're, your left foot, if you can move your right foot, yeah. is almost close to the ball, and then your right leg is coming through the ball. You want to try and get oh, all okay. the way through it, all right? So almost direct it over the post. You got this, Al. Okay, let's do it. I'm right. excited. I think you need more of a run up. What's going on now? Huh? It's just not going anywhere. It's literally flopping. I don't know how to do it. Oh well, Spencer, your turn. Way! You did it! First time! Woo! Right Spencer, we're on to the next challenge. Yes. And it's all about passing now. Okay. We've got six attempts to get the ball to hit the post. It is a very narrow target. So do you think you can do this? I'd like to think I can do okay. Alright, let's see who can get the most balls to hit the target. Good luck, friend. Let's do it. The best way of doing this is to try and make sure you spin the ball but also point at a target. So your left hand almost on top of the ball guides the ball so it always thinks about pointing at the uh, target. The right hand should be at the back of the ball. Okay. And what you want to try and do is almost flick it. Got it. Yep, yeah. right. Let's give us a go. Oh, three out of six. Three. That's decent. Yeah. 
Well done, you're a passer. You're not a kicker, you're a passer. I'm a passer. I'm a team player. I'm not a finisher. We've got to beat three. And now you've got yourself something funky. Oh, oh. oh. oh no! Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, you've got it now. This one to win. Yeah. Oh, you missed it! Sudden death. It's going to sudden death. Okay, our sudden death. Can you put this in to put me under pressure? Uh oh, <laughs> this is not good for me. I've got to do it now. I've got to do it. Uh -huh, I've done it. I've done it. I've won. Well done, I've won life. <laughs> You've won the pass, so you smashed the rod up. Okay, on to the next thing. Right, guys, final round. It's rugby quiz time. Maggie's going to ask us some questions. We're going to write down the answers on our whiteboard, then reveal them. Whoever gets the most answers right wins. It's on. Let's do it. How many players are in a rugby union team? Correct. Both of you. Yeah, you have to do it bigger than that. Right, I'm quite small. <laughs> one point each. Okay, fine. How many players in total take part in a scrum? Okay, I'm ready to reveal. Uh, hang on. You can't change it now. All right. Three, two. I'm not sure about this. One, okay, fine. Eight. Incorrect. Oh, is it nine? So the total the five. is 16. 16? So it's eight on each side. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. Oh. We both get that. Uh, we thought you meant on the team. Per, per team, we thought you, you meant. Get half and point, Robinson. No over point it. given there. None at all. <gasps> Arguing the wow. referee. <laughs> How long are players put in the sin bin for? Ooh, okay. Mm. Mm. Seems like quite a long time, but I'm ready. Three. I'm not sure about Two. This. One. Ten minutes. Well done, Alex. Oh, oh, no, yeah. Ten time. minutes. Ten minutes. It is a long time. <laughs> minute game. How many points are awarded for an unconverted try? Three, two, one, three. Oh, Spence. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was unconverted. Oh, it means less. Yeah, you can go up to seven if you oh. get the So that's a draw at the moment. When catching the ball in your own half. You have to call for a mark, but you have to be in a certain area on the pitch. Where is this? Three, yeah. two, one. Behind the t I put this section by the goal. <laughs> <laughs> the first 20 metres. Oh, is so that right? The correct answer is behind the 22, so oh, within your 22 on. section. You're kind of right, Alex. I am kind right. of right. So you can't put the goal, area by yeah. the goal. No, I, no but, 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 the, but... Who is the fly half and kicker for England at the moment? Is it Brad Barrett, <laughs> Jonathan Joseph, George Ford? Three, two, one, George. Both correct. George yeah. Ford it is. Samson Ambassador. I have had the honour of playing for England. I even won a World Cup. Can you guess how many times I have played for England? Three, two, one. Oh, okay, we've got 80 and we've got 95. The correct number... If, that, if that's not it, can I say another answer? No, of course you can't. The correct number is 74. Yes! Yeah, the closest to is Spence. So Winner! that gives you... Winner! Three. Yes! Come on. Well done. Good work, guys. Right, that is the end of our day at the Samson School of Rugby. Thank you so much, Maggie, for having us and for teaching us about rugby. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You both were very good and have actually improved over this period. But look, I hope you actually got a lot out of it. And well done on both of you. Well done on being the winner. But both were even competition. Well done. Thanks, Maggie. No pleasure. Worries, absolute pleasure. Really Thanks, good. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you. Right then. Back to Spen and Alex in the studio. Thank you, Spen and Alex. We're back in the studio now. That was fun, wasn't it? That was great. And if you guys enjoyed it, please drop the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to us so you know exactly when we put a new video up. And until then... See you when you're older. Don't go changing. Oh yes! Yes! You've done it! Well done! Why did that happen when Maggie was here?